Hi, I'm Montel Williams. Most of you know me as a talk show host, but I'm also an author, actor, single father of four, avid snowboarder, and I'm also a medical marijuana patient. Living with multiple sclerosis, I'm in pain every day. Medical marijuana is my last resort, and it helps me when all other drugs have failed. If you'd like more information about medical marijuana, you can contact the Marijuana Policy Project at mpp.org or call 1-877-JOIN-MPP. Great websites today need expert web design and development and need to be e-commerce ready and mobile friendly. But building a marketable and profitable website can be an uphill climb. Ready to make your new website or replace your existing website? Think Orange as the new way to get in the black. Orange Hill Development works with Fortune 500 companies and offer the same top quality development service at a fraction of what other providers charge. Brands like Absolute, Carlsberg, and Nestle trust Orange Hill Development. Find out why you should trust your website with Orange Hill. Contact Orange Hill for a consultation today at orangehilldevelopment.com. The following CannabisRadio.com program contains explicit language and content that can be considered graphic and offensive. This program is not suitable for all audiences, and the opinions expressed do not reflect those of CannabisRadio.com, its staff, management, or sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. Yeah. Stern Teacher Show podcast, recorded live November 25th, 2015. Truth or Mafia joining us in the chat room on Cannabis Radio on Spreaker here during the live broadcast. It's time for Weed News. We get our Weed News from Cannabis Tweets on Twitter. That's Cannabis Tweets with a Z. Go follow them, retweet, all that stuff. Those of you who are longtime fans of the show, you know, we used to have, before we made the move to CannabisRadio.com, we used to have, uh, you know, produced intros and things for different segments. Of course, we had the copyright issues with those. And again, as I said in the last podcast, we there's some trade-offs, but overall, the show stays intact. Plus, we get the exposure of being on the iHeartRadio app, and uh, that's doing quite well for us. But... Suffice to say, we will be getting uh, produced intros that are cool as far as copyrights go. Coming up, we have a, a few segments coming. Uh, some produced intros for, I know, Weed News, uh, Sex Toys and Stories from the Road with VDJ, VDJ Sexy Hippie. <clears throat> um, a few others, I know, Gay News. There's two more that, uh, that escape me right now. But slowly but surely, we will regain our produced intros. The cool thing about CanvasRadio.com. Is, uh, not only do they have a full, a full sales staff, they have a full production crew and staff that can get us the things we need to do this show. In return, I bring my awesomeness to Cannabis Radio. Clearly, by far the most hardcore radio show on CannabisRadio.com, the Cannabis Radio podcast. The only one with that set, that, that disclaimer you hear four times a show. But that's fine. I'm a bad boy. It's my image. <laughs> but uh, if you're looking for serious shit, and uh, you know about medical and growing and, and politics and all that stuff, there's all kinds of other shows on Canvas Radio. Doctor Dina, uh, Russ Belleville, Vivian McPeak, who does the Hemp Fest down in Seattle, Kyle Cushman, just just tons of people. Doctor Mitchell Wine, luminaries in the Canvas community, and of course me, Stoner Jesus. The most luminarious of them all. That's right. I don't know if that's a word. Don't give a fuck. I'm hardcore. I got a disclaimer. First story is from HighTimes.com. <laughs> Uruguay authorities discover a gray market for pot. This is a AP story. Authorities in Uruguay say the country's legal pot growing clubs may be selling marijuana and cannabis products without approval, creating a kind of gray market. The pot growing clubs are allowed to have 45 members who can collectively cultivate up to 99 plants for personal use, but they cannot sell the marijuana. Uruguay became the first nation to approve marijuana legalization and regulation 
in 2013. The law also allows Uruguayan adults to buy up to 40 grams of marijuana from pharmacies once a month, but there have been delays in implementing the pioneering plan. Look, Uruguay is trying some half-assed legalization, and that's that's going to happen. The gray market shit is going to happen. The, the black market shit is still going to continue to happen. Because you're not going far enough with the legal market. It all has to be transferred to the legal market. That's the fucking point. That's what will bring the prices down as supply goes up. That will undercut the cartels and the other criminal organizations uh, that are responsible for so much violence. A lot of their money will be taken away from them. Is very simple economics. But if you fuck around and you half-ass this shit, there's no point. I mean, there's a point. You get a little bit, but you're not going far enough. You can't then turn around and whine, well, these people are doing this, and these people are doing that. Make it fucking legal. Make it fucking legal. They'll do it legally. They'll pay fucking taxes on it legally. That's the fucking point. Speaking of legalization, this is from ADN.com, Alaska Board. <clears throat> okay, is marijuana use in retail pot shops. The Marijuana Control Board voted to allow consumption of marijuana at retail stores, which, if approved by Lieutenant Governor Byron Mallett, will make Alaska the first state to permit a regulated area for marijuana consumption outside of a person's home or other private space. The change allows for people to buy marijuana at a retail store and consume it in a designated area on the premises. The board voted 3-2 to two in favor of the amendment with Lauren Jones, public health board member, and Peter Milinarik, the public safety board member, dissenting. The regulations will go to the Department of Law for a formal review before heading to Mallet's desk. The amendment's functions as a placeholder. Uh, specifics as to what these establishments will look like will be decided at a later date. Local laws banning indoor smoking will still apply. In other words, it will be edibles and vaporizing, so on and so forth, in many buildings. The vote represents a major, major shift from the board's former policy position and comes after heated public debates surrounding sanctioning spaces for marijuana use. Marijuana social clubs, however, where someone brings their own marijuana products to consume, are still considered illegal, the board said. Again, we have, and even though Alaska obviously goes much farther than Uruguay, Again, we have the half-assing of the legalization. you got to go all the way. That's where it has to end up eventually. That's where all of this has to lead to. All of it. Medical marijuana, decriminalization, this law, that law, this restriction, that regulation. It all needs to lead to the full repeal of cannabis. The full and open selling, growing, uh, possessing, sharing gathering in designated places to consume all of that as part of it. This next story is from KRISTV.com in Texas. Story out of Corpus Christi, Texas. Texas veterans are pushing state lawmakers to legalize marijuana for certain medical uses. The Corpus Christi Chapter of Normal, or the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws, has joined with other like-minded groups to support the effort. They call it Operation Trapped, so named because they feel veterans are trapped in a never-ending system of pills prescribed to treat issues like post-traumatic stress disorder and chronic pain. Attorney Kyle Holscher runs Normal CC and says drugs like Zoloft, Paxil, Prozac, and Xanax come with serious side effects. He said it's marijuana. Uh, marijuana is an alternative that's safer. There's fewer negative side effects, but it's completely banned by the Veterans Administration. Obviously, this is a story that's been in the news a lot lately. It's a story we've touched on quite a bit as well. The bottom line is this. You can get into whether we should be at war in any of the places we're at war at, Afghanistan, Iraq, so on and so forth. The facts are this. These veterans are coming home, and a lot of them are putting a fucking gun in their mouth or taking a bunch of pills, and they're killing themselves. At an alarming fucking rate. They have to imagine things from their perspective. They go to some far off land. Let's say it's Iraq. For 12 to 14 to 16 months. 
however they, they fucking drag their tour uh, along for the government does they're in pretty much a never ending state of alert they see their friends they live in constant fear they see their friends uh, constant fear and apprehension uh, they see their friends limbs blown off they see their friends killed uh, luckily if they're not killed themselves they've seen horrific things they've done horrific things and they've lived for more than a year in this constant state where the adrenaline is pumping. It's dumping fucking adrenaline into their system with all the side effects that come with that. And when some of them get home, they can't fucking handle it anymore. They go from this for 14 months where they're, on, uh, they're carrying 80 pounds of equipment and big fucking guns and worrying about stepping on a goddamn IED or something. And they come back and now, you know... They're going to the grocery store to buy apples. It's a tough fucking adjustment that a lot of them don't make. And the fact they're being put on prescriptions like Zoloft, Paxil, Prozac, and Xanax is one of the problems. Another one of the problems is they're not allowed to go to the VA and the VA give them a prescription for weed, some joints, some bowls, some fucking cookies, something. A vaporizer pen. Anything. But no, they're not allowed. It's not for them. We'll find other ways to uh, to help you, the government that is, after we fucked you up so much and fucked you up in the head. You got all your, your limbs and shit. That's cool. But we fucked up your brain and somewhere down the line you're going to want to put your service pistol in your mouth and pull the fucking trigger. They get shitty care at the VA, and on top of all that, no medical marijuana. Take these pills. Gobble these pills. They won't help, but hey, man, it's the best we got. You know, screw you. Thanks for everything you did, but, uh, you know, you can fuck off now. Fucking ridiculous. Stern Jesus Show podcast, November 25th, 2015. We're recording this shit. Live, coming up, story of the first Thanksgiving. You think you know the story of the first Thanksgiving. You don't know shit. I'm sorry. You do not know shit. Be more polite. Also, after that, gay news as well. Only the gayest of the gay news. Well, up in your face or whatever. I don't know. Like I said, we'll have a... Our intros are coming soon for all these segments. Weed news and sex toys and stories from the road. Gay news. Uh, the Church of Stoner Jesus. That was getting an intro. And uh, fuck, there was one more. God damn it. Oh, well. I guess it's the least important of the five. But overall, we have like 30 or 40 segments that could use intros. So it's a process. It's a process. Stoner Jesus Show podcast. We continue the process. Coming up. The Stoner Jesus Show on CannabisRadio.com. The Stoner Jesus Show is brought to you by Gigawax Vaporizers. Check out the Gigawax banner on stonerjesus.net. Gigawax Vaporizer pins are sleek, unique, and versatile. They're made with artists, DJs, producers, and music lovers in mind. Get your Gigawax Vaporizer pen for a great low price right now. Go click that Gigawax banner on stonerjesus.net. Hello, my children. Stoner Jesus here. Tell you about another great sponsor of the Stoner Jesus Show. It's Pottles. Check out their banner on stonerjesus.net. P-O-T-T-L-E-S. Follow my Pottles on Twitter. They have all kinds of great stuff including odor-free stash containers come in all kinds of sizes and colors. They're airtight, watertight, and UV-protected. They also got cones, dab stuff. They got glass, tubes, and more. Check out that Pottles banner on stonerjesus.net. You should have to go to mypottles.com. Think outside the baggie. They always have great deals and more going on. Go get your odor-free stash containers and more. Just click that Pottles banner on stonerjesus.net. Gondrepreneur.com, your guide to the cannabis business world. Gondrepreneur.com is a comprehensive... 